Hi guys, welcome back to Where Stephanie Reads. My name is Stephanie and today we're going to be doing a book haul for the month of May. And I'm going to show you some of the books that I got at the book sales uh, at the library and also some that I got for free at a used bookstore. So let's get started. The first book I got was um, Nicholas Sparks by The Choice. I actually recently got it for a few weeks ago at a book sale. It was like one of those um, buy five for two dollars and I thought this was seems really interesting and I actually do collect the Nicholas Sparks books every time I go to a book sale so I just had to pick this one up. The next book I got was uh, Lovely Bones. It was part of a uh, it was like a dollar bag sale where you buy a whole bag of books for a dollar at a book sale at a library and I thought it seemed like a good book to read and I think there was a movie a while ago and it looks like uh, really good and I heard it was a really good book so I said pick this one up another book I got was uh, Dead Until Dark uh, back then uh, a few years ago when True Blood was around I was a fan of the show and so I decided to pick up the book and uh, get back into the series and enjoy it again so that's one book uh, another book I got was called uh, First to Die Part of the Women's Murder Club. I never read the series or read a James Patterson book and I was walking to a used bookstore nearby and they had a book, a, a bin that said free on there and so I decided to pick this one up just to see how it is. And let's see, I got Under the Tuscan Sun. If you never heard of it, it's about a woman who gets divorced and she goes to Tuscany and buys a house and uh, she lives there and uh, learns about herself and meets people and learn about the culture and stuff. It's a really good book and it's a good summer read also. And um, I decided to read the book since I never read it but I saw the movie. So hopefully it turns out as well as good as the movie. So yeah. The next book I got was like The Hours by Michael Cunningham. I'm not sure what's it really about, but I know it's like a historical, I think, historical fiction, and uh, I saw uh, a trailer of the movie, and I liked the actresses in it, but I wanted to read the book before I saw it, so here it is. The next book I got from the, it was actually from a free bin, and it was free, so I got White Oleander. Um, I'd seen the movie a while ago. Um, had Michelle Pfeiffer in it, and uh, in the book, uh, in the movie, uh, this mom goes to prison for killing her ex-husband, or was it a boyfriend? And her daughter goes into foster care, and uh, it's about her adventures through it, and uh, it was a good movie. And so I decided to like pick up the book just so I can read it myself, and just compare and, you know, see which one's better. So that's one of the books I picked up. And another book I got from the same bookstore where I got the used books is the New Urban Diction Sociology. Uh, I took sociology when I was in school and um, I thought it was an interesting class and decided to pick up a book from it. So it was also free. So and if I don't like it, I can just always donate it or just sell it on eBay or something. Yeah. Another book I got this last month was Confessions of a Shopaholic. This was a book that I actually was looking for all over and I saw one at Goodwill but it was kind of dirty but this one I found at a book sale uh, and it's a really good good book. Um, it's about this woman who loves to shop. She's a shopaholic and um, she uh, is, writes an article. She gets a job at a new a, article a uh, magazine and stuff and so she tries to keep her job and stuff and try to make money to pay her off her bills. It's a good book so yeah. Uh, another book I got was Holes. Um, probably you already heard about this one. I actually never read the book but I've seen the movie and so I wanted to actually check it out myself to read it. Another book I got uh, was Light Between the Oceans. Um, this actually was a funny story. Uh, I was walking down the street like near where I live, uh, down in Fredericksburg, uh, Virginia, 
um, and it was like a historical area. I was walking down the street to find gelato, and uh, behind, in front of this like antique store, they had a chair with a sign that says free stuff, take it away. And one of them was this book. And so, since I always want to read it, but not sure what's it about. And I heard there was a movie that came out a while ago. And so I decided, like, since it was free and it's on the street, nobody wanted it. So I decided to take it myself. So I thought it was a good deal. The next book I got last month was Lack of Pie. I always wanted to read this, and I like tigers. And I heard it was a really good movie. Uh, and so I decided to pick it up. Yeah. Have anybody read it? How is it? The other book I got last month was Jennifer Wiener's uh, Certain Girls. Uh, I don't read a lot of contemporary chick flip books. So I decided to start reading more of them. So that's one. I'm not sure what it's about. But it looks kind of interesting. So. Mm-hmm. And I picked up at a book sale um, at the same time I got the other one, um, 20's Girl. I like Sophie's books, so I, and it was like a buy two, I mean buy five for two dollars at a book sale at a library, and I, so I decided to pick this one up out of curiosity. Another book was uh, Running With Scissors. I saw the movie, and uh, I really like it, and so um, I decided to read it just to see how it is. It's about this boy who his parents like make him stay at his therapist's house and so he goes to live with him and uh, learns about himself. Uh, he also friends this girl and they go on adventures and so on. It's a really good book. I mean, the movie was good. I never read the book. And the last book was I got was Looking for Alaska by John Green. I got this at a two, buy five for two dollars at a book sale and um, this was like uh, looked interesting I liked his other book A Fault in Our Stars and so I decided to pick this one up just to see how this one is and see if I would continue on with his books and so that's pretty much all I got last month and so let me know in the comments below if you want to do more book haul videos and if you saw one that you read or thought was interesting uh, let me know and don't forget to hit the button for the subscribe if you want to check out more and learn more about more books. And until my next video, keep on reading.